Hi guys, Aka here. You probably already know about one of the important features that got released a few weeks ago, and that is the Alliance skill. It just so happened that when this feature was released, I was incredibly busy and I didn't have time to cover it then. Quite a few people are excited about this new feature. I, for one, am not particularly excited, but we'll go through that in a second. First, let's take a look at the feature. If you go to your Alliance and you come down to science, you can see at the top, the Alliance skill. So when you go to the Alliance skill, you get this new menu available to you. You have different skills available. So you have fruitful results that gives increased double drop on bosses. You have United Strength that increases training speed. You have Mighty Force that increases troop attack. For now, these are the three that at least my Alliance has available. And each of these has levels. They start off at level one and they go up to level three. In some cases, as you see for United Strength, the Alliance skill may be locked and the skills have prerequisites. So you need to meet the prerequisite for you to unlock the next level. If we look at fruitful results, we can see that to move to level two, we need the following Alliance Sciences done. And the same thing will apply when you're trying to move to level three. The way it works, it works similar to the Alliance Science. You donate a certain amount of resources, you and your Alliance members, you fill the progress bar. And then when the progress bar is filled up, as you see for Mighty Force here, the R4, or R5 of your Alliance can activate it at any time. Once the bar is filled up, you can't donate to it anymore. So you probably have to look at another one to be donating to. Now you cannot have more than one Alliance skill activated at a time. That's the first thing. Now each of the skills gives you a certain amount of buffs depending on the level that you're at. So as you see here for fruitful results, we get 5% double drop for level one. For level two, we get 8%. For level three, we get 10%. 10% is quite significant, actually. If we look at Mighty Force, for example, for level one, you get 5% troop attack for Alliance members. For level two, you get 10%. For level three, you get 15%. And 15% to all troop types for all your members is actually quite significant. Here's the thing that gets me. The first issue I have with the Alliance skills is the activation time. In my opinion, the activation time is way too short. Take a look at fruitful results, for example. When you activate this, it's only active for 30 minutes. And that is the same for all the three levels. If we look at Mighty Force, for example, the one that gives you increased attack for all your members, it's only active for 60 minutes. That's the same thing from level one to level three. Once you've activated it and the activation time has elapsed, you and your Alliance members have to donate again and fill up the progress bar again for you to be able to activate it again. So it takes time before the next activation. More importantly though, is the cooldown time. In my opinion, the cooldown time for these skills is just way too long. Look at fruitful results, for example. The activation time is 30 minutes. The cooldown time is three days. Yeah. So after activating this skill and you have it active for 30 minutes, you now need to wait three days before you can start donating to it again to get the opportunity to activate it again. That for me calls into question the usefulness of this skill. Let's take a look at Mighty Force. Mighty Force, you get troop attack. It's active for 60 minutes. So it's active for one hour, but then the cooldown time is six days. You practically have to wait a week before you get the opportunity to activate this thing again. So my question here, and please 
feel free to drop comments down below because I'm sure this is something that will help everyone out. Is it really worth it? I mean, yes, if you're not really doing anything, you can donate to it. Um, you and your alliance members can fill up the bar. You can have it stashed there for maybe whenever you need it. But is this something that is worth actively pursuing? Is it something that is worth going through all the prerequisites that you need to do to activate it? And giving the cooldown time, is it something that you're excited to use? Please feel free, drop comments. Aside from that question, I have some other questions. And if you and your alliance members have gone far with this skill, please feel free to drop a comment down below and let everyone know because it will help everyone out. First question I have is, do the Alliance skills work the same as the Alliance science? In the sense that you have to be in the Alliance hive when the skill is active for you to get the benefit of the skill. That's first question. The second question I have is, are the skills active in Battlefield? If you know the answers to these, please feel free to drop a comment down below. If you have a different view or opinion about the usefulness of these skills, please feel free. I am always excited to get excited about new features. And if you can help me get to that point, and if you can help others get to that point, that'll be very much appreciated. For now, thank you. Aka signing out.